What's up you guys? On today's video, I'm going to be coming at you with a little DIY project. I'm going to be turning this closet into a mommy and me closet. We are all stuck inside. I think it's the perfect time for some spring cleaning anyway. I have really cool ideas on how to make it look spacious, clean, organized, and of course, beautiful. So as you can see, I have a lot to do. It's really dirty, so let's just get into it. Okay, so jumping right in, I wanna show you guys a quick before of what the closet looked like so you can have an idea of what I'm working with. The first thing I did was remove the doors because they were really old and kept getting stuck and it was very difficult to reach items all the way to the right side so it just made everything in there more cluttered. Once the doors were gone the room completely opened up and felt 10 times bigger but now my mess is front and center and has nowhere to hide so it's cleaning time. Following suit with organizing Queen Marie Kondo, I went ahead and took everything out of the closet and placed it on the bed so I can see what I have and what I need to get rid of. Not only do I have to worry about mine and baby's clothes, I also have a ton of shoes, bags, and books shoved in there that also need to be somehow organized and dealt with. empty closet look just how messy it got because those damn doors wouldn't open all the way and it was near impossible for me to get in there and sweep or do any dusting this is where you can pull out your kids toy broom because that's exactly what I'm using here to dust off the walls surfaces remove cobwebs and sweep the floor honestly it's just so lightweight and so small it's perfect for those tight corners now that everything is nice and clean, I'm starting to put clothes back in. A cool trick to save some space is layering. I really like to layer either a t-shirt underneath a dress or a dress underneath a cardigan or sweater. That way I'm not only saving some hangers, I also kind of have a selection of pre-made outfits ready to go. This is what everything looks like nice and organized, but from here I still wanted to minimize it even more and only keep pieces that I'm going to be wearing for spring out, creating kind of a capsule wardrobe. Everything else I put away in drawers or hallway closets. For baby, I only kept whatever is fitting her at the moment out in display and nothing else. As you can see, I decided to make the bottom shelf a cute little display for baby accessories and must-have items. went ahead and donated my little mini skincare fridge to baby Pia to keep things like toys, teething drops, and pacifiers chill because she has started teething and cool items like this help soothe her little gums. I 
facilitates things in case I need help with night feedings from dad. Everything is nice and handy so there's no excuse. And I'm finding a lot of different things that I can put in there that are also super helpful for baby. So I might have to do a little update video for you guys later. But that is it for this week. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe because I'll be back next week with another one. Bye!